you beautiful people of the internet. She is here, our great aunt-in-law. Today is a very special day. We have the full family team looking beautiful. Today, we are doing Cloud Retainer Story Quest, and I'm so excited for it. I'm excited to see who's in it, the characters that are involved. I've heard good things. And so hopefully we get to see Shinha, Ganyu, and maybe, I, I doubt we'll see Chun Yun, but a boy can hope, okay? A boy can dream. I remember Shinha's quest was one of my favorites in the game, and it made me really extra fall in love with Cloud Retainer's character, with who she is as a motherly figure. And so I'm so excited for this. Honestly, Cloud Retainer's personality is so phenomenal and it's so entertaining. So without further ado, we're gonna spread our little wings and fly on over to Cloud Get it, get it, cause, cause she's a chat. It's funny cause there it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Oh. Here we are, right outside her place. That's what I said. Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. I do. That's when Cloud Retainer threatened to nuke Liyue. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Liyue Harbor. That's what I'm saying. Someone thought she'd be impossible to get along with. But now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. True. We probably don't need Dude, to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well. Is actually well, right? me. Mm, still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Huh? Traveler? Did something catch your eye? Wow, it's don't think we've ever seen her before. Whoa. What a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? <gasps> oh, shoot. It seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one look and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of adepti friends from all over the country. That is funny we don't realize okay, it's Cloud Retainer. If we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Yeah! Want to go up to her and say hello? Who knew you were such a social butterfly, Paimon? Helping you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable <laughs> guide. Paimon's got this. Oh, this is cute. Hello? Hello, ma'am? Dude, she looks so phenomenal. Oh my gosh. My name is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. <laughs> the Traveler. <laughs> Maybe we should have done the introductions. Just say everything in a nice, even tone. Uh, um, um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? You two... <laughs> What is this tomfoolery? Has this shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? Um, um, sorry, I, what did you, what did you say? I'm, whew, she's, she's so intimidating, man. Um, uh, um, clouded, get it? Clouded, cloud retainer, get, chat, um, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm done. Wait, you're... Cloud retainer? Huh? You're the illuminated bird? But you look <laughs> human. How did that happen? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. Okay. So, uh, you're indulging now because? Yeah, why are you indulging? Well, one has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Your kids! Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? True. You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. True. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... <clears throat> <laughs> Feels like Crown Retainer has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. I almost forgot Paimon brought you some gifts. Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? <laughs> oh. So you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Cloud Retainer tries but fails to look indifferent as Paimon begrudgingly takes um, out her snacks. Well, this is all Paimon's got. You don't mind, right? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary, it is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration. Classic Cloud the Retainer. The quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. The yapper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. 
guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? Cloudjanger said that she's going to visit some of her disciples. Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Let's go! Chat, I swear, if Chunyun's... I know this is total... Chunyun doesn't need to be in this. It's not about Chunyun. But a man can hope... And if he is in this, I will I will actually piss myself. One plan to extend stream. the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shanha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. Oh. However, we should not fully in the city to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? No reason in particular. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, we that's were so sweet. To tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Oh, I love the design of her collar. Hmm. Is that so? She's going to take it as a compliment. If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Field trip! With our great aunt-in-law. <laughs> <sighs> Gone, you have been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one tell in the number of times she returns to Mount Outsong each year. I'm going to teleport, Shinha but after has this. Also secured employment recently. In her correspondence, Shinha has a job. She wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Ooh. Huh. They think one was so easily mollified. One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes <laughs> and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. <laughs> is Cloud Retainer being a helicopter mom right now? A little, uh, is that, is that what's going on? Skirt. Skirt. It's so fun. How did I not just die? Okay. All right. Puggers. Ah, oh, Liyue. Pavilion. Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? Guess we have no idea if Shenha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, wait, where did she go? I'm sorry, but I'm loving Paimon's lines for some reason. They're so good. She's back there. She didn't come with us. Is she scared? She's just standing there. Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Huh? Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? True. Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend Smart. to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall no. suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards and... Cloud retainer? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ganyu! Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. It's my mom. I'm sorry, Huixin. But we could should... we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right oh, away. Thanks. Thank you, Weishin. Weishin. The whole family's together. It's been a while, Ganyu. Wait, why is Cloud Retainer? She obviously. Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. I didn't realize this quest would be us going with a mother to check on her kids. This is this is delightful. You are quite oh. mistaken. One is not acquainted with this Cloud Retainer of whom you speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. Who refers to themselves as one? Huh? <laughs> She's not buying it. Gone, you saw right through her. <clears throat> that was but a simple test. One did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. 
Tony looked totally bewildered. She's thinking, why would I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important mm -hmm. business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. She doesn't want to burden her child. Wait, Jaime wasn't aware of any important... Oh, uh, <laughs> Cloud Retainer's right. We've still got something super important to do, so we can't stay here for too long today. Oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. She misses her. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. She's so tactical in her words. Ah, oh, I freaking love Cloud Retainer. I understand. That should be fine. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though Adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Ah. <sighs> It still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to <laughs> Look sleep at and face. from nightmares. <laughs> Look at, she's embarrassed. Cloud retainer, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I love this because she did this with Shit Hunt too. Oh, this is so good. If you insist. We are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. You discussed some of your recent adventures with Ganyu. Wow, you've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, please just come find me at UI High Pavilion. Oh, thanks. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? A human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Do we get to name her? Considering I'm just the kidding, sheer I know. extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. That would have been so funny if we got to name her like Wander. You really think so? I, not that you're not famous or anything, but that? You presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun. Shenyun? It's like Chenyun and Shinha. Uh, Had a baby. I assume that's a oh, reference wait. to the full the record of Christine I'm Pavilion. sorry. I, phrasing. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, oh that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? <laughs> Paimon. what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? <laughs> well, um... <sighs> Not exactly. Paimon looked away in embarrassment. That's really what Paimon had in to mind. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, she tells a us long, long sometimes. time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, Chow, whose design do you like more? About it is Cloud Retainers or Ganyu's? understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. G Ganyu's, uh, sorry. Cloud retainers from this design, the bird design is so it looks so phenomenal. On top of the drought, a noxious gas Ganyu's also is great too. To spread through the land. I can't believe she has a bell. If not for cloud retainers' efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. The Dane. book had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. 
Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were okay, both driven cloud away, retainer. and the people were saved. All right, get it. Whoa, that's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought. And even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? Oh, Make it rain right now. Has a lot more respect for you. <laughs> uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you illuminated bird before. You're not too mad, are you? Uh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? Because you do get offended by stuff. <laughs> Cloud Retainer. Oh, that's a relief. In that case, Paima will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment. Well, that is quite there was no he -he. in history for now. Ganyu, have you Where's Shinha Shinha Shinha? working? Is she working like down at the docks? Like doing manual labor or something? That would make sense. One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? <laughs> Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? That is a lot of questions. There is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. Who is it? One in restaurant's business has been booming recently. So is she a waitress? Shenha being swamped with customers, and Shangling still often out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. Oh, shoot! Dude, Wanman Restaurant has the most powerful staff of any establishment <laughs> in Liyue now. Except maybe the funeral parlor. I see. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. They're stacked, man! Shangling is kind and astute, while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. <sighs> Now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. You One mean, shall visit Wan Min do you mean lunch? Person, so you mean? see how Shenha is doing. Uh-huh. But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? After seeing Shenha. Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? Yeah, there you go, Paimon. Good cover you up. You may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. This is so sweet, yeah, man. Bye, Ganyu. Bye, Ganyu. <laughs> Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? <laughs> yeah. As soon as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short skirt, skirt. and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? No, in fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Her daughters. Wait, for real? The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Huh? Huh. She really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? <laughs> There she is! Ah, oh, shit, huh? You get what I'm saying, right? I missed you. Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, huh? Oh my gosh. Are these shit, huh, simps? Is that, is that what's happening? I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Chat, they just like us for real. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You do it. No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. What can I get for you today? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... What would you like to order? <laughs> she looks so mad. <laughs> uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good chat. Bye. <laughs> you scared him away, Shana. Maybe that was on purpose. Dude, I'm so happy that shit has in this. It's been a while. May I take your order? What? We want to catch up, bro. Welcome us as 
guess and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. <laughs> True. <laughs> it's been a while, shit, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, and this is? Uh, this is Miss Xinyun. Master? Oh, we spoiled I... it. Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? I've trained and lived with Master for more than 10 years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. I love Shinha. <gasps> you. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. And check out Aww. the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon, are you here for Shenha? Always. The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead. Sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. <laughs> Chef Mao is a good choice to take care of Shinha. Sit and chat. Where? Oh, in the back? Wow. Ew, ew. Oh, I love this so much. This is going to be awkward. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating He's human. a good man! Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? It's great practice. It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've Bean. been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean... Are you killing these people, Shinha? First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. At this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. What happens afterwards? Oh, uh, how should Paimon put this? Sounds reasonable enough. Oh, a sensible plan. One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. And you, Master, how have you been? Oh, <gasps> good question, Shinha. Shinha's being a better daughter than Ganyu. I said it. She's Ganyu didn't ask how Master's been. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. Chun Yu just biased chat. How am I biased? As a Chun Yu main, how would I... <clears throat> anyway. Hmm. What she means to say she actually misses you two a lot. Yes, Traveler, go for it. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Ooh. Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. Oh, this is too cute. <laughs> Her mood shot up just like that. By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? What is, uh... <laughs> Indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's Careful, past. Careful, Shinha, because the Master's going to share a story about your past. When I was wiping, when I was changing Shinha's diapers. Oh, is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Moon Carver. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. That allowed her to fly. Huh. What kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. What was it called again? Oh, and... 
Electro-powered bicycle? She invented the e-bike? Oh, you refer to the bicyclical thunder flash mobile. One spent 49 days conceptualizing Yo, give me and one. crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Clever Tate, can I have one, please? Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. Dang! Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory when it was thrown off She does off look course, like Bayonetta a little bit. to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenha. Master, that was the end of that story. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. What is a race without spectators, after all? Are... is she gonna do... is... Have you been lonely, Master? Oh! Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. You lonely. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Paimon. What is the reason for that look upon your face? It's nothing. It's just... Well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. <laughs> I'm just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? Dane, I'm on late into her. To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Oh, wait, that was so sweet. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again. That was so sweet. Of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. This way she has the best. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. Okay, now you're getting one needy, Cloud Retainer. Question the sincerity of okay, wow. Wow. Way to turn that in. Wow. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as She's one mothering pleases. for real, for Others real, may for real. Or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. Hey mom, I just wanted to call to catch up with you. I know it's been a while. Well, why haven't you visited? <laughs> mom. mom. She got like, what, two sentences of flattery from her disciple? And it's as if her ego is about to burst. Do you have any empty tables? It's work time. Goodbye, Shin, huh? Hey there, could we get another fish stew? I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. Goodbye. Right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, Shin, huh? Mm hmm. I'll try my best. That is the most powerful waitress in Tevat, ladies and gentlemen. The one who can lift basically Celestia with her hands. Oh, we yeah, get food? Can you eat this kind of food, Cloud Retainer? One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. Yet you chose to feed Shinha grass. Rude. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. Maybe the grass is what made Shinha strong. One has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. Okay. Everything's so tasty. I was just wondering if I can grab I the dumplings or if I need to pass them to you. Super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Oh, they can take ours. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. You can sit on our laps. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. Oh, we have two open seats! 
Excuse me. Would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. Is Cloud Retainer gonna say no? <laughs> I don't mind either. As long as you don't mind our chatter. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Granny? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no. Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Is Paimon giving a compliment? What just happened? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. A lot of people compliment Granny on her youth. Man, she's looks, giving Cloud she's Retainer the death stare right now. <sighs> Dude, Cloud Retainer looks phenomenal. Holy moly. Granny? Why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Or to starve. Huh. Have we met before? No. Tis a faded meeting, then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. Huh? She bait? <sighs> no, no, not this again. Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Can't hurt to ask. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. I... need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her oh, memory's no. getting worse all the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Oh, no! Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. Wait, this is so sad. What about your parents? They died young. Oh my gosh! It's just me and Granny now. Oh. As um, the joyful Leeway music kicks in. But it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. Oh, what a strong. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. What a W mentality this girl's got. Yo, this girl's more emotionally mature than like 98% of adults, man. Wow. You're really tough Jeez. Your age, kid. She's tougher than me. <laughs> You're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? You're tough too, Granny. Ooh. Plus, you're really gentle. And you're always there for me. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Man, this is so uh, sad. Wait, what was that really important thing again? Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her. And that once I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? Was it Cloud Retainer? It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Is that like the Angel of Death? That is important, Chad. Uh, I have a feeling. You know... I believe I've had this dream a great many times. This is why Cloud Retainer's here? But just how many times have I had it? Now that, I do not remember. The Samsara Festival's today. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? Paimon! Rude! Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Call your great nephew in law to exercise. Are you sure? <laughs> Who do you take me for? Is one not an adept? <laughs> Am I not an expert? Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked. Rather like me, but not as I am now, my younger self. <laughs> A younger version of Granny? This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? What is going on? As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you about to cure her dementia, Cloud Retainer? Are you sure? That'd be pretty poggers. Um, so, what are your names? 
Thanks. Hi, Mons Paima. I'm Traveler. Just Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but um, how do you want us to pay you back? Oh, we don't need any payment for Aww. this. I mean, this is just lovely. We're just curious about your situation. We want to help if we can. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, but Miss Chen Yun, what exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. So, Granny, do you remember... Going down Granny's memory lane? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain streams. Excuse me? Did you go to Celestia? Okay, taking that <laughs> as a no. I might have an idea. Once, when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved lots of people from a disaster. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shincho knows tons about Liwa's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. This is why I hate Sin Cho. He steals opportunities that could have been given to Chun Yun, man! Chun Yun's literally related to Shinha! And hasn't had one in-game interaction with her! <clears throat> Are you leaving already? Sorry. But I'm still hungry. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want. I don't I'll hate Si Cho. I don't hate Si Cho. It's just I feel like he does whenever Sin Cho enters into anything story-wise, Chun Yun completely gets sidelined. Which is sad. It seems we must part Chun Hu? for now. <laughs> the Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while Yuan Dai and Shu Yu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Streetward Rambler? Streetward Rambler? Oh, oh. Madam Ping! Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Yes, ma'am. That was that was cute. Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Fresh milk. I need to buy you some fresh milk. Milk? Why? Cereal? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Hush, little one. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. Oh, wait, this is I so cute. Food now. Even the super spicy dishes, like their fish stew. I can eat two whole bowls, no problem. Wonderful. How oh, wonderful. <laughs> My darling <sighs> Keep it together, Jonathan. Is all grown up. Yo, I was not prepared to talk to these guys. I thought I was, but apparently not. <sighs> 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 <clears throat> All right, we'll go say hi to Sincho. We'll go say hi. Oh, I guess we can walk. I do love Sincho, Chad. Skyward. And it's okay if he's in the story quest and Chun Yun is it. A man can hope, though, you know. Scatter! Where is. Ah, uh, there he is. Hello, sir. He's just reading. Huh. It's you two. What brings you here? The man! Oh, great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. I'm smiling and being excited about seeing Cho to keep my tears at bay. <laughs> Does he know? Hmm. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. That's fine. Anything is helpful and appreciated. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Does Sinjo just stand outside of outside of the headquarters all day reading? It sounds like a good life, man. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, 
a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. Wait, so Clavertier was People there? People idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well matched in more ways than Exorcist? Plus Often him? fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. Wait, is that Shina's mom? Hold up. Wait! After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life Is that Shino's parents? Am I crazy? All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. I'm... The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. Wait, I wait a minute. somewhat helpful. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Thanks a lot, Chinko. Thank you, Sicho. It would be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I do like seeing Cho, Chad. I did Chad. do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that... Personal Chico curiosity? Oh, wait. Seen Cho, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Okay. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst, and Ching Yun Peak. Perhaps the real life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Loki, Sintro's fit is fly, man. I actually love Sintro's outfit a lot. His design is really, really good. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. She did. <laughs> I never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. Her daughter? There's probably Pasture? far more to the story than what's been written. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's a deal. No. Oh. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. That's a nice line. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shincho. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Oh, right. There's a drought in this story, too. Um, Shincho, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Can't wait to see his Farina cosplay. Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last mm. several centuries. Sincho's original outfit, I mean, he is, he is bougie, like Farina. So he already, he, he walked so Farina could run. Let's be honest. But the crops withered, <laughs> the kidding. streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked. And people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. Mm. That sounds awful. Yeah. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing so in return. True heroine? Still, as terrible as that drought was... It was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. That's fair. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just yes. going to head back and meet up with Miss Yen and Chanun? the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Anyway, we'll be off now. See you soon. Was she or was it Cloud Retainer? Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. 
Safe travels. I do love seeing Cho. I do love seeing Cho. I'm I'm greedy. I'm greedy for Chun Yun, but I love seeing Cho. He's a Time erases everything. Even the greatest of heroes will have their legacy reduced to the small fraction of their deeds that were committed to paper. Dang. But I think the magic of chivalric novels lies in the way you can catch glimpses of a noble soul from a few mere paragraphs. Oh. Yo, thanks, man. Yo, what's up, bro? Wanna go, uh, fishing? <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> to Grandma we go! Ah, uh, is this way gonna be faster? Sure. Sincho, I forgot how good Sincho's original drip is. And I do love Sincho's VA a, t a lot. Oh, God. Dive! Dive! Skyward, get her. Grandma! I have recorded the tune that you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. When is Madame Peen going to be playable, chat? That's the real question. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the tune? <laughs> Straight word for... Ping, what has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time yeah, tell her, Ping. Time change in this world. And yet, you appear just the same as ever. Time has little bearing on one's existence. Nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping... One would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? I love Madame Pain. Well, the inquiry is as such. Uh, approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Oh. Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. She's moving in! Hmm... It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean She wants to be closer to her family. That's sweet. What are you two talking about? Nothing save for some trivial matters. Have you unearthed any useful details? Shinto has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Yundai have joined up with us again. Chu Yu and Yundai soon arrive at the scene. Pamon relays Shincho's theory. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, oh. have some tea. That's why she's the goat! Uh, thank you so much. Wait, that was the teapot. No, Tubby. Tubby, why is this tea crunchy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Huh. According to the story, the nameless heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Maybe... That's my grandpa. I don't have many memories of him, but there is this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Seems like the stories were right on the track. We should probably pay a visit to these three places. I think so too. Wait, I'm so invested in this. Remember something when she's returned to I'm a so invested. Place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature and at peace. Peen, did you just drug this lady? Is that so? <laughs> then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, the pin in her hair looks familiar. Let's rest here for a little while. Okay, then. since we have the time. Can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. A secret? Secret tunnel. Wait, oh, all of us. Shoot you? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. <laughs> but... Are you guys all adepti in disguise? Oh, she's so nervous. That's funny. How do, how do people treat Paimon so normal when she's literally a floating baby, the likes of which no one has ever seen? Oh, uh, about that. Why do you say that? Um, well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, 
I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. <sighs> Must have been a slip of the tongue. Uh, Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, <laughs> maybe you can explain to Xu Yu here what you really meant by that. <laughs> <laughs> one is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? <laughs> Just revealed it, okay. I knew it. You don't sound surprised at all. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. Sounds familiar. I had this super high fever and Granny wasn't around. I was feeling all icky and gross. But then Aww. this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. Aww. I really wanted to thank her. But I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an adeptus like that? Traveler just points at her. A pure white illuminated crane? Oh. The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clavertina? Hmm. Never has one met an adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but a hyperbolic embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. Oh. I'm really grateful for all your help. Man, this kid's a good VA. Or whoever's the now VA for the kid. The three locations, we just need to visit them one by one. Let's go to Wangshu Inn first. Okay. I'll go get Granny. Cloud Retainer, was that you? It was you, wasn't it? She just forgot that you were green. <laughs> Granny, does she have anything to say? Leaving already? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to stand on your table. Just remember that you can come over for a cup of tea anytime. Oh. <laughs> this is... Oh, man, I love the way. All right. Do the one shoe in we go. A search for secrets. Wait, is Zhao gonna be here? Wang Shu in. Wang Shu in. Do you remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. It oh? had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? I can win. Oh. Hyman's still having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait, huh? No! <laughs> of course. Of course, there he is, boys! Mr. Hot Topic. I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. You've met her in this form before? I have indeed. I fought alongside her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Oh, shoot! Oh, wow! What was she like during the war? <laughs> yeah, tell us! Oh, wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything like this? <laughs> the glorious one's newest invention, the Bang Bang Continuous Fire Mechanism! Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti! I, I think that's exactly how it was. This is wonderful. An impressive imitation. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon knows her all too well. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn. 
Only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. Guizhan, I'm trying to remember who that is. A cloud retainer who barely talks? Paimon like, can't picture it. But what happened after that? Was that, was that a Yaksha so chat? In your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use God would one dust? still have for such a shape? When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles Jun and Cloud Retainer's best friend. World, oh, okay. I remember mortal now. Mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong. Only revealing herself to the occasional visitor. Man, we're getting full Cloud Retainer lore. I love this. Form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30 odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. 30? I believe it was for the purpose of. Uh, one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Tell us, Yao, don't listen to her. Granny, are you okay? Uh, back then. At this place, I perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Teleport. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Guys, do we have no confidence in my abilities? I think I'm I'm fine. <laughs> See ya. Everyone, I, I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Slowly now. Calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Shinto said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can mm -hmm. remember is that it took a great toll on me and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul-revitalizing tea pills. Okay. Dude, I love that we're getting these art. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So the dementia you're suffering from now is actually. Wait, but if your illness remained who gave dormant her the pills? for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? We need to draw some cloud retainer blood. I'm ASAP. sorry, I don't. Oh, if only I wasn't well, it's okay. so useless. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. How could you say that about yourself? I think she was more referring to right now in this, in her trying to, but oh, that's sweet. Oh, not, dear child. Granny yeah, is exactly. just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything. I wonder if it was Baiju. Let us make haste to the next location. Next location. Try not to look at chat just in case of spoilers. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dwayne Cars next? I love you guys though. Really a landmark there, so where should we Kisses. start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere. True. Right? Oh, Pyro, When's Cloud Retainer what's going to tell us what's going on? At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendy's memories in no time. Let's do it. It's so nice during quest chat to actually uh get to learn a ton about to be to learn so much information about the character whose story quest it is. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times there's story quests where we don't really get to learn that much about the characters whose, whose story it actually is. 
and we're just like doing some task about a random NPC instead, <laughs> which we're doing here, but which but they're doing it in a good way. Whoa, that ties in. Really it feels like. Here. Mess him up, yeah, Freddy. Show him why you solve drought One, or whatever. We got the whole family here, boys. Roll hard. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Let me think. Did I snipe I it? Feel First try? like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, I believe I brought... Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. Go on. Take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and... Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you. Denpaimon will help us out. To the next location. Thank you for the sweet snacks, I guess. Got him. Screw. Yeah. Screw. Got him. Oh, I love Cloud Retainer's design so much. Wait, which one's closer? We'll do uh the one up 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 in a way. Skyward. It's so yeah. nice to get quests that are back here too. Where we can uh Revisit all these leeway places and hear the old music. It's almost like nostalgic chat. Hello, you who? The yeah. family is here. Got him. Hmm. Remember this place at all? I don't think I've ever been here before. But where are those who share the memories? Still, chat, I you get it because you get it because. <clears throat> Sorry. This place feels perfect for a game of hide and seek. Huh? Huh? Why a game of hide and seek? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I used to play that game a lot with Shuyu when she was younger. Hmm. I don't remember playing it that much. Are you sure about that, Granny? We only played a few times, and we stopped once we realized that was no good at the whole seeking part. Ah, is that so? Then I must be mistaken. Hmm, not here then. Let's try somewhere else. Okay, hide and seek. A connoisseur of hide and seek. We'll teleport here and then glide on over with our sweet wings. Our sweet crane wings. Got her. Ooh! Ah, I had another. Wait, here we go. Skyward! Scatter! Skyward. Skyward. Oh. Cloud Retainer! That could have been your cousin! She just ran into him and the crane went poof! Tell you wouldn't see that bird explode or is that just, is that just me? Cloud Retainer Thanks. knows what's going on. It... Is this near? No, Shinha's cabin was somewhere else. Did you remember something, Granny? I... I remember. Show you. This is where your father was born. Huh? It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. What? What is this darkness? Hello? I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on. So we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. And you were in late? You were giving... I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees. Reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath. But spare my innocent child. 
Is this Shinha? That they're... Or is it... Sin. Wait, no, no, no. It's oh. it's the, the father. It's the Did father. Did you do something wrong? Duh, I forgot. I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again Her and father. the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's oh. first cries. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shu Yu. Oh. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just... What did I do? I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. <laughs> You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. Okay, Cloud Retainer Icy knows. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. I feel like this is going to be important. If one recalls correctly, the next place should be Chingyu Peak. You mm. and I. I'll teleport and then you can keep talking, ma'am. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm sorry, Cloud Retainer. I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. It's okay. You're doing great, sweetie. Climb on. I shall carry you to the top. Oh, such lightness of weight. Oh. All those who grow old grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. Oh. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind. That's totally to fair. Free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Dane. Fret not. You have my aid in this endeavor. Oh. She, she, Cloud Retainer carried her! Huh. We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny One Day? Let me see. How strange. Have I lived here before? Is she the White Crane? Take it easy. Take your time. Is she an adepti? Is that why? Is that why Zhao said I sensed a non-human presence? When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places, but here, I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? We can't expect them to get everything yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny All right, Cloud Retainer. Memory, just like the others. Let's hear it. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. True. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Wait, is that Cloud Retainer's home? Right there? Oh, let Paimon look! Huh? Isn't that Mount Outsong? Yeah. Looks like we've come full circle. Mm. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Granny, are you okay? Flashback? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am I really? Huh? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Does she, like, forsake Just... being an adepti to fall in love with somebody? Or something? 
Am I... Club, Miss Yun, is there anything you can do? Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not, all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. You do know who this lady Wait, is. Really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Is this your sister or something? Bro? Oh! A free... Okay, alright. Some more accurate travel? We're flying on Cloud Retainer's wings. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Oh, wait, you can hop on the water with that? Oh, no, I'm just timing it well. Come on, just tell Paimon already. What's this thing you've prepared? Here, this is it. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? This is her important oh, business. Is another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. Well, you're keeping us in suspense about it. Get it? <laughs> Get it. Is this like an anti-dementia <laughs> anti ray? <laughs> Zap! You can remember. It periodically That'd be pretty bonkers. <laughs> breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. It's a therapy and of course, ray gun? It can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh, what a cool gadget! But Wait, use it on Traveler! So Why did you keep it to yourself until just now? Use it on Traveler! Wait, hold up! We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating! How preposterous! Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. Gotta make them neuron connections. We adepti can I only see. help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Hyman thinks she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required What's to the take disc? full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. So it's a DJ machine. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. You're flying, Paimon. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. And you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. Oh, the music is so... The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted needing you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Oh, this is so pretty. Have you forgotten? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew, perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. The you of the past, okay. the me from not that long ago, we should have never. She's either the Adepti, like we were talking about, or is she just a random bird that got <laughs> that became a human? I think it's the first one.
Did she leave uh, her godhood? Uh, to like pursue love? So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. Granny! Granny? Are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. Hug. I'm here. Hug right now, you two. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. Dude, you're fine. We have done... Half of our quests in Tevat have been way less worth it than this. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. A swan. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. Cloud Retainer's VA is so good, Chad. Perhaps one should recount the story on Cut your scene. behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. No, let her recant. I'm okay with that. Show you, everyone. I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm oh. ready to tell you my story. That works. If you're willing to listen. As long as there's pretty images. No, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Even if it's just words, we will listen. Granny. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. She's like, I am the fourth descender who brought the original curse to Conria and murdered thousands in the wake. Would it change then, Shuya? No, I'm joking. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. I wrote a fanfic. And posted it on Twitter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm joking. I'm joking. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dwayne Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. What? It was just like an adept eye, though. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong. Bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The lord of the mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me, though she never took me on as a formal disciple. I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would oh, also look at, stand next look to her Look how cute Paimon's listening face is, chat. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. So she was like a magical I being. her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day 50 years ago. 50 years ago? The Drowned? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had. The forgotten disciple. Wherever I went. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. Chat, imagine going on a date with someone and kissing and stuff, and then it turns out that person was a bird. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue not. <laughs> she warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years. And if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh, no. So that was the source of your dementia all along. But you never turned back into a crane. Was it because of Grandpa? Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive Aww. as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, <laughs> Did you just, fall down? just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted, more than anything, to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. Aww. But this my is... time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so I... Oh no, what happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. The letter! So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision, and I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world such that no one would be able to find me again. Is that why Cloud Retainer is trying to, like, establish communication with her daughter so they feel comfortable talking to her so it doesn't end up like this situation? So that's why the nameless heroine hid herself but away. that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became Who is the doctor? And confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across Aww. that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. Was it Cloud Retainer? If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. <sighs> Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually... <sighs> Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be an order hmm. when one's progeny is wedded. Oh, would it not? Who's a wedding gift? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. <gasps> That's cute. So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and it was her wedding gift you out from among the flock one found you with such ease every time oh it's the truth most evident one always recognizes one's own no matter what form they may take oh, wait 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 paimon's confused so cloud retainer you found you and i again but how when and what happened after that <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the cutscene? rest of the tale. Oh! Cutscene? Cloud Retainer cutscene? Cloud Retainer cutscene? Pause jump. Cloud Retainer solo mission! One was furious upon receiving your letter. 
seized with anger. Oh, this is cool. I set out to bring you to your senses. Oh, it's so pretty. To one shin in, I go, oh. And then she saw her interacting with, she probably saw the love the human had for her. One had more than a few misgivings this is so about pretty. his chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Glaring though they may Aww. have been, wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients. It was Clavitator's blood. One's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, Man, this is so pretty. it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually nice decided mustache, to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter one's features <laughs> and select the appropriate attire. Only yeah. after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu in. As one expected, I want to see that mustache. You were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> one was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of Aww. your acquaintance? This is such a cool way to tell... Chat, Gitchin has gotten so good, has upped the level of their storytelling, and just like... With the simple things like camera angles or art throughout dialogue scenes... Or like little like solo journeys like this... Ugh! I love it. Nevertheless, one would speak to you about another matter, if you are amenable. Even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. This music. This proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel uh... while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost. Oh, this is so... Dude, it's so seamless how it went straight into this. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, mess him up, Cloud Rotator! Show them what kind of mother you are! Immune, immune, immune. I should use my E more sparingly. Oh, wait. Yeah, pledge attack. I we are all Zhao now, baby. Love it. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Just this is like Baiju Story Quest a little bit. Sad godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Wan was, after all, an oh. active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. Oh, that's so sick. In the end, Wan was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, Wan heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. And she was outside. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Holy moly, who would have thought Cloud Retainer's story quest would be yeah. so good? The music, too. It's just every, every part about it is just so beautiful. Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. 
Yeah? Well, we'll recount it now. Dude, this custom domain is... Oh, I love it so much. I'm just giggity. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus, because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. So it was just cloud retainer. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body <laughs> to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when oh one stood before gosh. you devoid of any other coloring. Not... I never thought I would see this <laughs> cloud retainer powdering herself. It bears mentioning, however... In bird form. ...that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered oh. her in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Now all has been revealed. <sighs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. Zero out of ten. Not enough Chun Yun. Ah! No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm totally joking. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, oh, shoot. one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity. It's like her right third away. daughter. Holy I moly! I informed you of all you had lost. All those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who lived through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. How did the parents die? <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. Aww. It was a simple choice. Nothing more. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, Aww. it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. She almost sounded like Batman there for a second. <laughs> Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's Aww. disciples are free to come and go as they wish. Yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Hmm. You and I. One expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Yo, chill, girl. Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path. Yet one was unable is, to alter its final destination. Is she about to die? <sighs> Even the power of an adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately... You were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance. Dane, Cloud Retainer's such a good reflection of your own efforts. Such a good master, man. Could she be my master? <clears throat> I'm sorry, sorry. So, sorry. What's gonna happen to Granny? 
She's gonna fly fly away. You ever heard of the KFC uh twelve piece bucket? That's that's Granny. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Her original form as a wild crane. If it be faded, she may recover her sentience one day. Oh. She's got to go back to being a regular crane, huh? Chat, don't type no. Think of all the Timmy's pigeons you've murdered, okay? Think about it, huh? Yeah, I'm not the guilty one here. You are. Master, you've already done more than enough for me. Oh. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. So she could potentially return. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? They're, pri they're pigeons, not cranes. Hello? Really? Where do we draw the line? <sighs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Mm, not long. The transformation is imminent. Granny? Oh. Please don't leave, okay? You're all I have left. Ah! Please. What? Not the crying kid! Reaching out with tears? Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Is Cloud Retainer going to look after the kid? Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady Wait, this like is so sad. lots of good food to grow big and strong. The little nod she did, Granny, too. you'll take good <gasps> care of yourself when I'm gone. Keep it together. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. The kid, the kid too, the writing and her dialogue from the beginning chat was, she's been so good. She's been such a great character and like so caring as well. So it makes you even feel even more for her. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Oh. Granny's going to become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsong. You tell her, Granny. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? <laughs> good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Aw, uh, dude! And it hits hard for Traveler, too. Wait, this... The fact is switch to Traveler during this. That is such a nice little detail. Because he's probably thinking of him and his sister and working hard to reunite with his family as well. Dane, man. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you. No you and I? It takes. Oh, it's like her name. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you. For everything. Oh. Transform time. Transformers. More than meets the eye. Go, go, bird form. I'm sorry, I'm ruining the mood. It's so peaceful and beautiful and sad. We can we can we can can your granddaughter pet you? Are you going off into the sun? Or oh, your socks are wet. <laughs> this is such a pretty frame. Imagine if we just left. <laughs> She's like, well, good luck, kid. <laughs> good luck out there. <laughs> That'd be so terrible. You, you. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, True. if not fitting, response to such an event. Another great mother moment. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. No, they're not. <laughs> Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. Now that the issue has been resolved, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Man! Oh, I love Cloud Retainer. Dude! 
they develop her so well in this. It's actually so good. Like her just motherly master instincts. Oh, cutscene. Cloud of Terror cutscene. Oh. Is everyone going to take a nap? Oh. Oh, this is sweet. Is he going to think of his sister? No way. Oh, the granny's coming back. That was quick. This is a dream? Oh, he searched. Is he starting to think about his fat? No! No way! Oh, his eyes! I'm gonna cry. I always believed we would see each other again, that our days of separation would finally end. Is this his dream? All my troubles would be behind me. Oh! Dude, I'm gonna... Oh my gosh, man. Oh, oh, keep it together. This is blindsiding me. This is so wonderful. If only things could stay this way. Oh forever. my gosh. This is such good storytelling. I love this so much. And he's crying. Oh my gosh, actual traveler moments? A nightmare. This is so I love this so much. Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? Hmm. It was a good dream. It's just You weren't ready to wake up. Oh. Dude, I'm actually tearing up a little bit, not gonna lie. <gasps> the little, the little calling him over. I love this so much. The fact we're getting an actual traveler moment. It doesn't even feel like an Archon quest he gets this sometimes. Words of comfort are not one strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will. Your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Oh. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one <laughs> is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Grilled chicken drumsticks. <laughs> Not us cutting from probably the most emotional cutscene we've had with Traveler in ages to immediately, without like missing a frame, Paimon snoring. And, and mumbling about grilled chicken drumsticks. Oh my gosh. I'm having shell shock, man. The fact... I, dude, that was absolutely phenomenal. Oh my lordy. And it, like, it kind of teasing it too, chat. Did you see that before the cutscene began? When the mom was talking about, or the grandma was talking about... Uh, parting ways with uh, the granddaughter and then it cut to Traveler's face and she's like if we work hard enough eventually we'll get to see each other again and it cut to Traveler for that part and he got sad oh my gosh and then chat when has a story quest done this and and had such had a Traveler moment like that about him and his sister that was so amazing and then it reinforces 
like everything that we've been learning about Cloud Retainer and her being basically a phenomenal mother and a master and and the character development she went through. Oh my gosh. And her little Hi. like come over here and Hi. sit with me. That was just Hi. That was just absolutely delightful. Oh my lordy. <laughs> oh. Oh, Paima wasn't talking to you. Paima had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks. That's all. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so good. I hope you enjoyed your dream. Dude, and and it had me thinking that I was just going to be the grandma bit too. And then Traveler turned and I was like, no way. M Madam Adeptus? Oh, shoot you! You're awake! How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. Wait a minute. Was Paimon just thinking about eating grilled chicken skewers? Was Paimon dreaming about eating chicken? Eating a bird? As we just had this moment with Cloud Retainer? And, oh my gosh! <laughs> Too soon, Paimon. Too Madam soon. Adeptus, can I uh, ask you something? Oh. Would you take me in as a disciple? Is she gonna move into the city with Shuyu, boss champ? Oh. And have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it, but without that mistake, I would have never been born. True. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day... Plus one child. I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that you undies blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. Uh, Chuyu, are you sure about this? Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, <laughs> and they pretty much eat nothing. It's a good point. Herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. That's true. If you join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. That's that's good. Paimon's being a homie right now. I was being a homie. How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here <laughs> now, is she? Yeah, it's important, okay? It, she brings up a good point. The kids got to know what she's getting into. And Shinha uh, and Ganyu constantly talk about only eating grass. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate I to Yue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Oh, let's go. So he took on this human form. One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liu Harbor. Gan Yu, Shen He, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. One has reflected on this fact. Oh, this is lovely. Now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. Ah. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter. The kids flew the coop. Perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? Paimon is... Uh, just a bit shocked, that's all. So, does this mean we can grab a meal together in Leeway Harbor sometime? We're gonna have a meal with the whole family at Lantern, right? Hmm. One has precious little time to squander. However... If one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, okay, bud. 
All that right. would not be opposed to the idea. One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. Dude, that cutscene chat. To put up various items oh, man. For collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chihu Rock. Tis no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. Is See the whole that. family going to be there? Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense somnia mechanism as a souvenir? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. I think that's gonna fit in my pocket, man. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we found out? Should we Oh! So, about your move to Liyue Harbor, you gonna tell the other Adepti about it? I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Those two old fossils will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, however, I find myself <laughs> caring little for how they shall receive this news. Okay, wait. Go to Sing Cho? Is that supposed to happen right now, or do I wait two days first, chat? Talk to Sing Cho. You can go now? Okay. Oh, that's so fun, that movement. Again, dear friends. How did everything go? I started this conversation very close to you. I'm sorry. Great. And it's all thanks to you. You quickly go over the whole story. Oh, this is optional. Oh, I see. So the stories didn't get it right after all. Even though she was a celebrated heroine, she had to bear a heavy burden that most could not hope to understand. Thank goodness for the help of that adeptus. At least she was able to recover what she had lost. Although I cannot claim to know exactly how their story will unfold from here, I trust the ending will be a happy one. Those united in a common purpose always find a way back to each other in the end. Like Traveler and his sister. Thank you for helping me fill in the gaps. And don't worry, I'll keep this all to myself. It's not my story to tell, after all. No problem, Pookie. Go to Liwei Harbor to see Cloud Retainer. Oh. I'm coming. Skirt. Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Is she going through customs right now? Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back. Not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Traveler finding, finally knowing someone who's rich. <laughs> Ah, perfect timing. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is- She just outed herself. Come right there. Several hundred years? It, indeed. <clears throat> their family okay, okay. heirlooms, you Good see, cover up? passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep. Been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. <laughs> Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. I love Ah, uh, there's the cloud retainer we know. Oh, oh man, this this story quest treats her so well. It like honors the previous her like core personality or that we've come to know in this part of her. As well as filling in the rest of her, like, motherliness and kindness and caring 
with, with while keeping this. <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further, and I may just decide to take them to another buyer. Whoa, 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 please don't go. I apologize for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment, I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. He should be here shortly. It's gonna be Jolie. An expert, you say? Oh, very well. I will wait for who a little while longer. Who is the who is the expert? Traveler, Paimon. This is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company Potters. in the future, this is where you can find me. It'd be cool if they stayed in game chat. To be honest. Master. Oh, it's you two again. Oh, she has Hello. a new dress, and it's similar to Cloud Retainers. Here you, you got a new outfit. Oh. It looks great on you. Mm hmm Master made it for me. I like it too. Huh? You know how to make clothes? <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? Are we about to get an ad the for the new the, the new outfit? Sewing is hardly a challenge. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. Fred not, I shall help you move them into your room. Wait, this is so cute. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Everything is kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um not look yet, Master. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Is it a bunch of Gojo Sadaro figurines? She mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. Hey, Zhen Li, 100%. Here, allow me to make oh, some guys, there he is. This is Mr. Zhang Li, a well-respected consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor and an <laughs> expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Oh, shoot. I did not expect this. Man, this quest is, this story quest is insane. Mr. Zhang Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the their eyes. valuables I mentioned earlier. Uh, this is awkward. Huh. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Miss Shen Yun. It has been quite some time huh. since our last huh. meeting. Huh. What a serendipitous reunion. <clears throat> In indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhang Li? Wait, hold up. Is this the beginning of a new ship? Bro, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't, I'm sorry, I should have said anything. Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Oh no, we got the two yappers now. We gotta get out of here, otherwise we're gonna be here all night, guys. Huh, uh, so you two are all Mommy and daddy, mommy and daddy. Indeed. Daddy and mommy. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields and off-celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this opportunity. The way Zhao is a bird too. Zhao does look like Cloud Retainer. Chad, stop. Stop. I don't... You just put my head in a very weird space. I'm... I'm... We're moving on. You are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors X pride themselves I on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why? You flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self-effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Shangli. Not at all. Um, <laughs> while I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask, you two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Can I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? I mean, you never know. <laughs> this guy's a little paranoid. Huh, a preposterous accusation. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Say no more. Let us depart. <laughs> uh, 
I jest, I jest. It, what fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. Hmm. <clears throat> I deeply apologize for doubting you. Who would have thought so, Zhongli um, was in this? Mr. Zhongli, I guess it makes sense. please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. You could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. Is Zhongli flirting with Cloud Retainer right now? <laughs> I am sure you Yo, have heard from the travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course... John, stop. I'm kidding. Been. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Oh, very well. <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. Hello, John Lee. How are you? Long time to see. <sighs> snore, snore. My friends, have you been doing well? We've been great. How about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant. Yeah, sheesh. My days have been quite pleasant as well. I had been quietly enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. As for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking Look at her to little house. in the city? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Whatever for? Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well... That is true, but... <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others oh. may address you with it. Oh. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, oh, I love this. one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. I bet the daughter has a gift for her. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration, Human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. <laughs> no need to get all sentimental on us. Paimon's like, stop yapping. You make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? <gasps> One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Or perhaps our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Man, I gotta go. Mom and dad are flirty in front of me. I'm not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab roe tofu, triple layered consomme. We shall enjoy the lot. Oh, let's go! One has already passed word to Shenhun Ganyu to make a reservation. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? 
It should be a most splendid occasion. Thank you so much, Cloud Retainer. Shu Yu, come now. It is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is um... a humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. Oh man, Shu Yu getting added to the cast is so good. That should be everyone, right? Let's go. She even traded out her NPC clothes. Sounds That's good. how you know it's official. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus's temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. You know, because it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so <laughs> fast? Hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, hey, wait up! Oh, this is cute. No, I want to do the dinner. Don't give me the quest finish screen. No! Can we still go to the dinner? Don't be shy. Come inside. John Yu! <laughs> Interact with the boxes before you go? Unsigned letter. What seems like a book of accounts, a letter can also be found inside. Little you, my dear daughter, by the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go on a long journey. Your granny may get a little forgetful sometimes, so try to jot down little reminders for her to around the house where you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take care of granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why mommy and daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they just have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Do you know daddy was actually awfully sick as a child? How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel daddy's pulse. It was that weak. But daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when daddy thought he might not make it. In the end, though, daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe daddy is just really lucky, or... Who knows, maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out after him. Either way, Daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves the world right back. They told Daddy that this mission would be super dangerous, but both Mommy and Daddy decided to sign up. You'll you'll have grown quite a bit taller the next time Mommy and Daddy see you again. Maybe you'll be big, then Mommy and Daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let us use a code. Do you still remember the one phrase Daddy taught you when you were little? That can be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You remember it, don't you? Well, while the mill is sand guard, evil shall never prevail. Oh. Hey there. Don't be shy. Stay away from me, foul temptress. <gasps> no way. A special looking crane. Cream before you is gazing far into the distance. Who knows what she's thinking about right now and how well her cultivation training is going. Oh, shoot! You can find the crane! That is it for Cloud Retainer's story quest. Honestly, that was phenomenal. That was so stinking good. It blew my expectations out of the water. How it just completely dived into Cloud Retainer's backstory and honored her personality that's already been presented in the game while just building up how good of a master and a mother she is and her interactions with Ganyu and Shinha. And then that cutscene, man. And it's comparison to Traveler and Lumine and how it touched on that throughout as well, building up to the cutscene. It was just class A storytelling and I absolutely loved it. Oh my lordy, who would have thought that Cloud Retainer's story quest would be so stinking good. And just, I'm absolutely, after all of that, I'm absolutely in love with Cloud Retainer as a character and how kind and how good of a mother and a master she's been, not only to all three of her disciples, but also in Traveler, to Traveler in that cutscene where she's like, come over here, and then puts her hand on Traveler, just, oh my gosh, so sinking good. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you thought of the story quest in the comments down below. I love you, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>